What, What is up, everyone? Welcome to Candle Play. Hello, good hearts and God sense. My name is Simon, good heart BA, and welcome to our channel Canva Play. We make videos here in Canva Play to share Canva design tutorials, tips, tricks, and hacks that will elevate your Canva skills for free. If you are new here, be sure to subscribe and turn on your notifications just below this video so you don't miss out on every video we post here as we upload new videos all the time. All right then. Let me start our today's tutorial. In today's tutorial, I am going to show you how to create an underwater portrait effect in Canva. Take your photos for a swim with Canva's underwater portrait effect. It's like magically turning your regular pictures into stunning underwater scenes as if you're actually submerged. Easily add a cool, mysterious vibe to your portraits with a few clicks making every photo feel like a captivating journey beneath the waves. Let's get into Canva and I will show you how to create an underwater portrait effect. But before that, here is the design that I will create. I am now in a blank Canva design page and let's create the design. To start, Get your subject image from photos or uploads. For this tutorial, I will get mine from uploads. I will click and insert it on my design page. You can locate this image in photos by typing the keyword Portrait of a beautiful woman with a long hair, pretty blonde girl with curly hairstyle into the search bar. I selected this photo of a woman with long windblown hair because it perfectly mirrors the effect of being submerged underwater, where the surroundings become beautifully scattered, creating a seamless match with the underwater portrait effect. Then, I will set this image as my background. The next step is to apply a duotone effect to the image to give it a blue tone, simulating an underwater setting. Let's select the image and go to Edit Image. I will click this one because I want to use the new photo editor. Now I will select again the Edit Image. Under Edit Photo, I will scroll down to Effects and choose Duotone. Click it and you will see many options to choose from. From the list of the duotones we have here, scroll down and apply the peppermint duotone. By the way, I'm using the new image editor in Canva, so don't be confused if it looks different from the one with many effect features like 3P, Pixelate, Bad TV, Color Mix, etc. If you prefer that type of editor, you can find the switch for it inside the Edit Photo or Edit Image button which appears once an image is selected. I will show you here this one. But of course, for this tutorial, I want to use this new editor. Going back, now let's enhance the design even more so that it will later match the water overlay that we're going to add. What we'll do next is select the image, go to the Edit Photo button, then go to Adjust, and set the following settings to, let's select the area as the whole image, under White Balance, Let's retain the temperature and tint to zero. Under light, 
brightness to negative 5. Contrast, 13. The rest, 0. Under color, vibrance, 100. Saturation, 20. And under texture, let's change vignette to 15. We're now halfway through our tutorial. To proceed, let's find the appropriate water overlay to make our expected underwater effect realistic. Go to Photos. Head to the search bar and type in the keyword underwater bubbles with sunlight hit enter and you will see numerous options to choose from i will scroll down and find the underwater background that i want to use As for me, I think I'll use this one, showing you the keyword Underwater Bubbles with Sunlight, Underwater Background Bubbles. I'll click on this and use it in my design. Finding keywords is hard and time-consuming, and you need to do a depth search and a lot more time to find this kind of keyword. If you want to save time and find all the overlays, action brushes, special photo collections, photo series, patterns, textures, and mock-ups in Canva, we have created an ebook called Canva Bus Book. Canva Bus Book is an ebook of Canva search keywords with visual presentations that will make your designs look great and professional in less time. We have shared in this ebook all of the secret collection keywords we used here in Canva Play and even the new ones which are not easily searched inside Canva. So what are you waiting for? Grab your copy now. Find the link to the product in the description below this video. To proceed, I'll select the overlay, click on the positions button at the top bar, and change the rotation value, this one, under rotate, to 90 degrees. The width to 2,804.5 and the height to 1,870.3 pixels. And then, let's position this bottom right. Now, let's adjust the settings of the white balance, light, color, texture of the water image. So, keep it selected. Go to the Edit Photo. Under the Adjust section, change the following settings. Select Area to Pool Image. Temperature 10. Tint negative 18, brightness 11, contrast negative 36, highlights 80, shadows 15, whites 22, Blacks, 50. Vibrance, 100. Saturation, 100. 
sharpness zero, clarity zero, vignet one hundred. Make sure that your area selected is whole image. Now let's change the transparency to 45. After that, lock it. Perfect. This is the final look of the design I created using the underwater portrait effect in Canva. As easy as that. That's it! For more design inspirations, watch this. If you like this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and to be updated with our upcoming videos, click subscribe. Drop your comments below for the tutorial you want to learn next time. Before I end this video, I hope I inspire your creativity. I'm Simon, Good Heart BA saying, sharing is caring. In behalf of Pinky Godsent BA, thank you for watching this till the end. Don't forget to hit that little bell icon so you don't miss the next video with another exciting Canva tutorial. Bye guys, see you in the next video.